Hello Suits, Adam here with a very special video. As you may see, I have been very, very busy. Now, it doesn't look like much, but if I uh, look at this map here, you can see exactly what I've been working on. Now, I know, um, as you can see on the left side here is the lava pit, on the right side are uh, the bricks, up there is uh, the giant axe, and if I fly over here, you can see um, there's Bowser, uh, here's the bridge that Bowser and Mario are standing on, and there's the fireball. Uh, there's Mario over there, and uh, the hammers are up there. Now, uh, it took me about 11 hours to uh, create this entire thing. People may be asking why are there so many stair steps and so many, like, like why does Bowser look so mangled, pretty much. And uh, if I bring you over here, I'll show you. As you can see here, I've got two Bowsers. I've got Bowser on the right where it's uh, floating above the ground, and I've got Bowser on the left where it's flush against the ground. Now, as you can see on this map, um, the Bowser on the right, it's got some uh, distorted pixels and messed up colors on the top and bottom edge of the Bowser. And on the Bowser on the left, it has um, it's all one solid color, which is what I wanted for the picture. But the problem with the Bowser on the left is that there's not a lot of variety in the color. Like, the green is green, the gray is gray, the white is white. And if um, you actually look, uh, the white on the Bowser on the left isn't even a pure white. Um, it's actually a bit shade of gray. Now, if I compare it to the other Bowser, you can see I have a pure white and, like, a darker green, which is um, exactly what I wanted. And also, you can see, uh, the, compare the green from Bowser to Mario and see that the greens are actually a different color, a different shade. And if I bring you over here, I'll show you exactly how I did that. Over here, you can see the generic uh, ten colors that the game that the map gives you if they're flush against the ground. And you can see there's like two greens, two blues, two grays, and uh, that's not a lot of color to work with. You know, like the brick, you can see I have like four different shades of gray, and for the generic colors, there's only two. So um, I use this method of going up and down um, with the bricks to uh, create different shades. Uh, when it's flush, it creates the generic uh, color on the map. When you go up by one, it is uh, lighter, and when it goes down by one, it's darker. That's why uh, those giant stair steps over there, um, they it's all going down, so I can get that darker shade for the background. And um, with this method of going up and down, I can create a whole bunch of different uh, shades and colors that I need. With Mario, you can see the leaf blocks are just flat with themselves with uh, the block above it and Bowser the leaf blocks are going downward um, are going at like an angle or yeah they're just going downward and if you look on the map you can see the green on Bowser is a darker shade than the Mario and that's because of this uh, down effect that I have on Mario also with the snow I have the snow going up one block each so that it can become a, a pure white color and uh, with this me method of stair stepping the, the blocks, I can easily create uh, more shades and therefore be able to create uh, better pictures, better looking pictures. Thank you Seuss for watching. I do plan on doing more pictures like this and hopefully the tricks I've learned from this first picture will help me with the uh, uh, future ones. But until then, uh, you can check out our channel where my cousin and brother do uh, little less plays. This was just a special video I wanted to share with you guys. That's all. Bye Suits.